Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are doing um, November favorites. Couldn't think of the month as usual. I haven't done a favorites in two months. I told you guys before, I feel like I'm saying this in every video, but I've been working a lot and I haven't had the time to try out a lot of products. But this month, I tried out so many different products. I tried Morphe. Um, a new foundation, I have some liquid lipsticks, like I literally have so much makeup. I'm really excited, you guys know I started a new job. I'm working at my local Dunkin' Donuts and I'm so excited. The hours are great. Um, my last job was very stressful. It brought on a lot of more stress that I did not need between school and stuff, but things have definitely calmed down and I'm like, I can breathe again. So I'm really excited. Sorry about the lighting. It's currently... 4:35. It's been raining all day. It's gloomy, so it's getting darker than usual. Usually, it gets dark around 5:30 where I live, so I have time to film. But I'm sorry for the lighting. I wanted to get this video up for you guys. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, I'm gonna start with the only non-makeup product I have, which is a body wash. This is the Herbal Essence um, Totally Twisted Body Wash in Berry, I believe. Um, with the Berry Twist Essence. It smells so good. It smells like berries. I have been loving this for the month. Like, it leaves my skin so soft. My mom actually picked up, like, I'm looking at my closet. She picked up, like, four because she had a coupon. She's one of those coupon ladies that if she has a coupon for it, she's going to buy um, quite a few, as many as it says that she can buy and hope for the best. So I have been loving this. She's like, give me a chance to try because I've been t telling her and I've been telling my sister to try it. So far, I have been loving it. As you can see, it's gone down this month. Uh, this month down this much in the whole month also I'm a little bit sick so if you hear it in me I'm sorry all right so I'm gonna go in order so I have one brow product to show you guys um this is the wet n wild brow pencil um in dark brown I believe and no it's in brunettes do it better and I've been liking this so far I'm wearing it on my brows today it doesn't give me as much as a natural look I feel as my other brow product but you know when you have that one brow product you're like this is my holy grail this is what I want to use you don't try something new with your brows you stick to what you know so I'm trying to venture out and try new makeup so my products aren't as repetitive as they usually are so I've used this in a couple tutorials I'm gonna leave my recent tutorials linked down below for you guys where I've used this so definitely check those out if you're interested but yeah I've been loving this so much so far and it comes with the spoolie. I got this from Walmart. I think it was like around two to three bucks. I'll leave a link down below um, exactly for how much it is. But yeah, I love it. You have a cap for the spoolie, which I really like because your spoolies can get dirty, like especially if you have in like a makeup bag because you know that's just how things are. But I love how it has a cap, so it'll stay clean. Next, I have a foundation. This is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish in Honey Beige Medium 4. Um, I've really been liking this so far. I've only had it for about two weeks. So far, I'm in love. I'm wearing it today, but I don't know how it looks. My makeup was a little muddy because I got caught in the rain, and it was the end of the day. I was like, you know what? I don't care. F it. YOLO. Going without my umbrella. So that's why my hair is so wild. Um, but yeah, I also tried this with another primer, and it did not last. I used a hydrating primer. No, no, no. Big mistake. Regular primer. That's what I'm going to try. That's what I've been using, and it comes out so nice. I actually like it almost as much as I like my matte and pearls. Like you guys know, that's my holy grail foundation. That's my ride or die, tried and true. I love that. This this is coming close to it a little bit. So maybe by the end of this month, I might be in love with it. Next, I have an eye primer, and I've mentioned the NYC palette as a favorites before, but specifically what I've been loving is this primer, and I've been using this primer so much recently in my tutorials. Usually, you guys know I use concealer, but I have been loving this. I feel like this helps bring out the pigmentation in my shadows. I have been loving this. I love the cream finish, the smoothness to it, and it's kind of thick. It looks like this, and then once you blend it out... It just blended out so effortlessly. It's so easy. It's a lot easier than concealer, and I can still clean my brows up, and this gives, gives me the same, like, natural highlight. Next for eyeshadows, I have the Sally Girl um, eyeshadows by Sally's. Um, you can get these at Sally's Beauty Supply, and I have the colors um, Beige, Rich Mocha, and Olive. I'm filming a tutorial with this this weekend. I'm so excited because usually I wear this to school. I have this one green shirt. I need to get more. I have this one olive green shirt that I will wear this, and it looks so beautiful. These are so pigmented, and these are only like 94 cents. Like, look at that. 94 cents and 98 cents if, you, if you're not a beauty club member. Like, look at the brown. And then the beige probably won't show up that well, but yeah, this is what they look like. Just so beautiful when they're swatched. This green one, 
gives me so much life you guys have no idea so i'm so excited to be filming that tutorial for you this weekend i have so much energy i don't even know why i think i'm just really excited to be able to film during the week like i used to be able to so i'm loving it but definitely love these i am gonna pick up more usually every time i go to get hair dye which is every month i'll pick up one to try them out first i picked up a setting shade to see how it was and then i picked up outer v and then i went on a um on a limb and got this olive one so i'm gonna try and pick up three or four maybe um and do a review for you guys if you guys want to see that comment down below last for eyeshadows i have these two morphe shadows and this is in secretive and this one is in caramelized i've used these in tutorials um they'll be linked down below i think they were holiday tutorials so i'll definitely have them linked down below i got these in the mail last week and then i just ordered some more for black friday and they're coming on thursday so i will be filming a morphe eyeshadow review and doing looks with them i'm glad i'm trying different eyeshadows so i'm not using the same palettes over and over again so I'm really excited and I also did order a palette so I can put these in palettes and not have to hold them but um yeah I really like this this is secretive I don't know if you guys can see my eye makeup I don't know what the lighting is like oh I just dropped one um as you can see it's very pigmented and I'm gonna film this tutorial as well I'm filming a lot of tutorials this weekend and it goes with the, um, my flannel and stuff that's why I was so inspired with the um burgundy around the eyes i am going to change it and make it a little more glam because you know that's just how i am i have to be extra but for school i kept it toned down so full on glam you know liner lashes everything so i'm excited to film that and caramelized is just a beautiful brown i have this on my lid so i'm not sure if you guys can see i really hope you can but this is what it looks like swatch this is what they look like. All right, guys, so that was it for eyes. I have a lot of lip products to show you guys. So to start with lips, I'm going to start with the lip liner. And this is the NYX Lip Liner in Deep Purple. I will swatch this one for you guys because I don't think I've swatched it before. And, oh, my gosh, it's just a beautiful true-to-color purple. And this is exactly what I need. And I really love NYX Lip Liners. I have another one by them, and it's in Peekaboo ne Neutral. These are the most pigmented lip liners and long-lasting lip liners like oh my gosh these will not budge from your lips so if you want to wear these by itself go ahead these are two dollars i get them from my local beauty supply store because ulta jacks the price up and nyx um i used to not order online but i definitely am going to order online but definitely have been loving this um the first two i want to share with you guys are the maybelline lipsticks and these are from the buffs collection one is in maple kiss and this is what it looks like it's a beautiful like clay tone blush tone color kind of like a clay color it reminds me of i'm not going to be swatching these because i've swatched these in literally so many videos so i will leave down my favorite lipsticks video and my fall favorite lipsticks so you guys if you're interested i'll link the video down below and next to it i'll put what lipsticks are in what and then the next one is an Untainted Spice, and as you can see, I really love it. I have mentioned this in favorites before. I've had this for about a year, and I'm always going on about it. And then the last lipstick I have to show you guys is Wet n Wild Photo Bomb, and it's a beautiful, beautiful cranberry color, and I am absolutely in love. I definitely took a picture with this. I don't know if I used it in a tutorial. Maybe I did. I also did a review on these lipsticks. It was part of a limited edition collection. I'm not sure if they're going to make it permanent or not, but um, I hope you guys can find it. Check your local Rite Aid. I'll leave that review link down below for you guys. Next, I have two drugstore liquid lipsticks to share with you guys. The first one is by Wet n Wild, and this is in I Can Bear It. I've definitely swatched these in videos before, so check out the description where I'll have a lot of videos linked down below for you guys. But it's a beautiful, true nude. I think this looks so gorgeous on medium to dark skin tones because it's going to come off medium skin tone it's going to be like a brown nude and then on darker skin tones it's still going to have a brown undertone but it's going to be more of like a pinky nude and it's just going to look so beautiful and these are long lasting my only tip with the wet n wild liquid lipsticks moisturize first have your lip balm on let it sit in for a while while you're doing your makeup and then apply this and maybe exfoliate because these can be very drying this um formula um the lightest shades t tend to be more drying than the darker ones for some reason i don't know why some are more comfortable than the others but that's how it is with the lot of li liquid lipstick formula so definitely be aware of that next i have nyx copenhagen and this is their soft matte lip cream i'm wearing this on my lips right now i think i got a dried out one by accident from my local beauty supply store i don't know if it's supposed to be like that i'm gonna show you guys i've taken this out so many times but it looks dry so let me know 
if you guys experience the same problem. And my last liquid lipstick to share with you guys is by Lipland Cosmetics and Embreezy. You guys know I love her. I actually did an inspired look by her, so I'll leave that link down below for you guys. And I am thinking about doing um, YouTube Celebrity Inspired Week. And yeah, this is Montenegro. I'm sure you guys have seen it swatched, but I'm gonna swatch it for you because I know this one I haven't swatched. I don't know if it's still in stock and I'm not sure if it was limited edition. I thought I saw a tweet that they'll be bringing it back. If not, I'm so sorry because I don't like to mention limited edition products. Um, but yeah, this is in Montenegro. I'll have it linked down below. Everything will be linked down below as usual, but this is what it looks like. And then once it's dry, I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is what Montenegro looks like dried. So beautiful and dries in like 30 seconds. And my last favorite is another NYX product. And this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Praline. And it's just a beautiful like brown gloss and I'm wearing this on top of Copenhagen because I didn't have a clear gloss a subtle clear gloss and this is what it looks like and it's just so gorgeous so gorgeous I have been loving this too it smells amazing I definitely want to pick up more of these these were $5.49 at my local beauty supply store I'm not sure how um, how much they are other places but the cheapest I can find them from a website I will have that link down below all right guys so that wraps up my November beauty favorites I really hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you have been loving Loving. I'm telling you guys to leave so many things out in the comments below, but definitely let me know. I really want to know. Tell me what you want to see. I will add it to my list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I can't believe it's December. This year really flew by. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye. And really, really though, you don't play me like this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And the last. Bleh. I don't know if they're gonna make it permanent or. Ah, oh, come on! Really? And then. So, yeah, I can see, see, tell you some of the words. Sorry, Brandon. It's okay. Alright guys, so that ripe, it ripes. <laughs>